In this paper, I looked at the Geller family, which is from the popular TV show Friends. Um, the Geller family includes four characters, which are Ross and Monica Geller, who are siblings, along with Jack and Judy Geller, who are the parents. Um, I looked at their family dynamics through the use of Gottman's approach, along with Bowen's intergenerational therapy. Um, we'll start by going over the genogram that I created for the family. Starting with the parents, um, Jack and Judy are in a very loving relationship, which is why I put um, uh, the green line with the two circles uh, as a symbol for them. Um, looking at the children, Monica has always felt um, resentment towards Ross, uh, as he is known to be the favorite of the two children. Um, the parents do make it very obvious that, uh, that they favor Ross over Monica. Um, Ross is actually known as uh, being the medical marvel, while Monica continues to be seen as the chubby teenager, um, even years after she was able to lose the weight. Uh, also um, included in this genogram, I put Chandler and Rachel. Chandler uh, was one of Monica's closest friends at first, and they are now married with two adopted twins. And Rachel is Ross's on and off girlfriend throughout the series. However, at the end, they do end up together in a serious relationship after having a baby together. Uh, looking into the assessment portion, um, as I mentioned, Jack and Judy uh, have a good and positive uh, marriage going on. Um, by the end of the series, they're now adjusting to the life as, uh, as being grandparents. Um, however, one of the biggest uh, bigger issues is the fact that they, like I mentioned, favor Ross over Monica, um, especially uh, Judy, the mom. She is extremely critical of everything that Monica does, uh, especially when it comes to Monica's love life and her professional life. Um, they feel that she will never find a man to get married to um, and also see her job as a chef, as a head chef. Um, they see it as a failed profession and they definitely let her know how they feel about that. Uh, on the other hand, while Ross has had several failed relationships, along with three failed marriages, he does not uh, receive the same harsh treatment as his sister does. Um, this treatment from the parents has caused a couple different things to go on within the family. Um, on one hand, it's created a rivalry between Ross and Monica, and um, I think um, one of the big reasons that uh, the parents... Um, are so strict with Monica are just because of some of the cultural and gender um, issues that uh, that we have in our society. Um, because Ross being a male, um, he's not criticized, criticized as much for it, while Monica being a woman, um, they kind of place a higher importance on her uh, getting married. Uh, so now looking at the, dyna the, looking at the dynamics through Gottman's approach, um, we learned that Judy's mother would actually treat her the exact same way that Judy now treats Monica and is a trait that she has carried onto her own relationship with her with her own daughter now. Um, all of this has caused uh, Monica to uh, just a lot of anxiety and has also caused her to obsess over things such as always uh, having to have everything spotless, everything must be clean. She can also be controlling and she also gets the need to win at everything. She's very competitive. Um, um, and I think that this is something that she may do to possibly try and please her parents as much as she can. Um, we see this play a role in the relationship with her husband Chandler, um, and Chandler uh, kind of deals with this as playing more of a passive role, and it can be categorized as having a conflict avoiding style. Uh, looking at the treatment plan, we want to create a healthier space for the family to interact with. Um, with this being said, our goal is to replace um, the perfectionist uh, and social beliefs set on Ross and Monica's uh, both personal life and in their career. Um, we want to um, replace these beliefs with more realistic expectations. And in order to do this, we want to use the soften startup intervention. Um, and by doing this, uh, the family can more effectively discuss, you know, a specific topic uh, that may be surrounded by controversy. Uh, for example, uh, if we look at Monica's marriage, 
uh, her, her, her marriage life. Um, we want to, uh, we want to avoid any blaming or labeling from taking place, specifically from the parents onto Monica. And we also want to encourage everyone in the family to, to clearly describe, you know, what they're trying to say, uh, along with what behaviors and feelings are being caused and, you know, how, how this can be resolved. Now we look at this through um, through Bowen's intergenerational therapy. Um, we're able to see how differentiation plays a role. Uh, if we look at Monica's situation again, uh, it's noticeable that um, you know that that she is that she's trying to work at um, being uh, she's trying to work on her level of differentiation. Uh, I believe that Monica uh, throughout the series is trying to actually separate herself from the expectations that her parents set her. Um, it seems that Monica has come to realize that she needs to actually separate her thoughts and feelings when it comes to her parents' comments um, in order to live a healthier life. Um, and additionally, part of what makes this even more difficult is the triangulation that takes place between Judy and Ross against Monica, which is something that we see has been taking place since their teenage years. Um, as we work, uh, and as we continue to work with the Gellers, our goal would be to uh, to increase the level of differentiation for each of the family members, um, and we would do this by increasing the awareness of the multi generational transmission patterns and processes that take place. Uh, to reach this goal, we can use the genogram intervention. Um, by doing so, we can identify the problem the problem the problematic problematic intergeneration patterns and also find ways uh, to handle them, to handle the issues around them. Um, through the use of the genogram, we can visually depict the multi-generational multi -generational transmission process um, that took place from Judy's mother onto Judy and then that are now taking place from Judy onto Monica. Um, so by using this genogram, um, we can increase the awareness of each family member's actions, their feelings, and their responses. Um, and then we can we can then focus on increasing the level of differentiation within the family. Um, so after going through both theoretical frameworks of Gottman's approach and Bowen's theory, I believe that the most effective um, in addressing the Geller family would be Bowen therapy. Uh, looking at the interventions, I believe the Gellers can benefit the most from using the genogram, which will allow them to visually see the dynamics of the family um, and see how each uh, family member is being affected. Um, it seems that Monica and Ross would be the ones that could benefit the most from this as Jack and Judy are already enjoying a you know, positive, loving marriage. And just by the, uh, increasing the differentiation, uh, Monica can learn to control her feelings and responses when she is faced with these negative comments uh, by her parents.